seven straight games without 300 yards passing. The longest active streak in the NFL. Is that about to end? Floating it for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Romeo Dobbs. And the Packers vault back on top with 2.33 to go. Well, we talked to Matt LaFleur about this, and young guys figuring it out. His route is supposed to be to the out here, but he realizes there's nobody over the top, and he just throws up his hand. That's the old Randy Moss. You know that little red thing on the mailbox? Go check the mail, boy. Oh, my God. That's so good by Dubs. I love that. And he's violent with the catch. You see that? He snatched it out of the air, high-pointed it, didn't wait for it. He went and attacked that football to put an exclamation point and punctuate that drive. His 10th career receiving touchdown as Love goes over 300 yards for the first time in his career. Oh, man, that's pretty. Right before the swat. You see that? If you wait for that ball, that ball gets swatted away, and it's just another oh, ho-hum. Could have been a touchdown. Could have, would have, should have. And I know Packers fans are tired of that. Six play, 75 yard drive engineered by Jordan Love. Took 251 off the clock. And now the Packers have to lean on the defense. All right, I don't know about Dancing with the Stars there at the yeah. end. I'm not sure if that's you're not, you're not in, in Dobbs' wheelhouse. However, <laughs> the kid can play wide out, man, and he sure is coming along. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's a look into the future of these two guys, a little time machine, and what you'll hopefully be watching for years to come. First quarterback in a Packer uniform to go over 300 since Aaron Rodgers did it December 12th of 2021 against the Bears. The drought is over, and what was once commonplace in Green Bay is now back, a 300-yard passing game. Kickoff to Darius Davis. He'll let it go through the end zone for the touchback. All right, so the Chargers going back to work. 23-20, 2.33 to go. And Deja Powder Blue. Oh, I get it. 13 losses by three points or less since 2020, the most in the NFL. 68 one score losses from 2006 to 2019. You can go back even further 124 fourth quarter blown lead losses since 1970, the most in the NFL. Trying to buck history in a place steeped in history, Lambeau Field. From the 25, Herbert to the sideline, in and out of the hands of Quentin Johnston. Coverage from Corey Ballantyne. Well, Ballantyne wasn't fearful of him running by him. I still think they need to take one of those shots to Quentin Johnston, just throw one up to him. Up top, you see he's barely even going to break his cushion, doesn't get him into the back pedal. Allen in motion on second down. 2.29 to go. Herbert, receiver slipped down. We talked about it at the top of the broadcast. We saw it on Eckler's fumble in the red zone. He slipped again on this turf at Lambeau. And it's third and ten. Well, here he comes out of the backfield. And watch him as he gets up to make his cut on his option route. He hits the deck. It can't stay up, and he's. I, I still think he's cutting off the wrong foot. He's kind of like rounding it a little weird. I want to cut off that left there instead of the right. He kind of got off balance. Third and ten. Herbert, pressure, in trouble. Herbert goes down. Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith with the... Two minutes to go. Chargers with all three timeouts. Trailing by three, fourth and 20. They'll put it away. And Keyshawn Nixon, the deep man for Green Bay. From the 40-yard line. Nixon trying to find some room. Reversing his field. All that for a yard on the return. Well, Thanksgiving Day and NFL tradition continues as Jared Goff and the division-leading Lions look to tighten their hold on the NFC North against Jordan Love and the Packers. Pre-game coverage begins at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Thanksgiving Day on Fox. And Jordan Love will be entering that game mark off his best two passing performances in his career. Well, and some of them have just been 
efficient throws underneath that have gone for big gains with mixed, missed tackles and guys refusing to get tackled on offense. But look for him to try and run this thing out. One first down, and that'll do it. Remember, only one running back. Aaron Jones and Emmanuel Wilson both injured and out in this game. So it's A.J. Dillon to carry it the rest of the way, and Dillon fighting his way out near the 45-yard line. Timeout used number one for the Chargers, and we saw that last slip by Eckler as he was going out of the backfield to try to catch your pass. And for more on that footing, we check in with Laura. I want to be clear on why we only are talking about the footing when we're talking about the Chargers, because the Packers' advantage is their practice field is as slick as their stadium field. They practice on it all week, so they know the shoes. You have to callous your feet to these shoes. How big of a deal is that? We asked Matt LaFleur, who was very adamant, saying it is a very big deal. Yeah, it is something that the Chargers spent time on this week, working on and making sure they had the right footwear. As Laura mentioned earlier, Brandon Staley showed a video this week stressing that footwear concern and the field concern here at Lambeau. And we've seen it crop up twice today, including a fumble that Austin Eckler slipped on in the red zone. Second down and six. It's Dylan again. Turns up field, but Kenneth Murray right there to stop him for no gain. Timeout number two used by the Chargers. One remaining, 137 to go. Well, we mentioned these one-score games and tight games down to the wire. The Chargers somehow stop them on this third down. They're going to have some opportunities on offense to make this thing right and make up for some of the mishaps in the red zone earlier in the football game. 0 for 3 to start in the red zone today. A Keenan Allen drop at the goal line. The fumble by Austin Eckler. They got 3 on the drop play, but they did not get anything on the trip that saw Eckler fumble it away. And they were shorthanded coming into it with the losses of Mike Williams and Palmer on IR and, you know, they needed their guys to step up and couldn't afford those kind of mistakes. Each team one and four in those close games that you saw. Third and six. Does Love throw on third down? He does not. To give to Dillon. He'll get a yard, maybe two, and that'll be the final timeout used by Brandon Staley. And the crowd grumbling a little bit. They're, they wanted him to throw it, but you got to know the time is more important than... Before the punt, let's grab a game break with Carissa Thompson. Thanks, Kevin. Lines down by five at the Bears' one-yard line. David Montgomery takes it right up the middle for the go-ahead score. They decide to go for two to make it a three-point game. Sam Laporta wide open for the conversion. Lions up by three with 27 seconds left. Kevin? Quite a rally for the leaders in the division, the NFC North. Packers and Lions on Thanksgiving Day here on Fox. Well, the Chargers are going to be backed up. It's going to be awfully loud as soon as they get this football back. Assuming this punt goes exactly how they planned it for Green Bay. But no timeouts. About a minute and a half. Whelan ready to punt it away. Whelan, a liner, bouncing at the 7 and into the end zone for a touchback. Remember, all the Chargers need is a field goal to tie it. Keenan Allen's day in a nutshell. When it was bright and sunny, a couple of drops for Keenan Allen. One at the two-yard line and this drop right at the goal line. Would have been an easy six for number 13. However, the greats bounce back and Keenan Allen has done so. A touchdown there that gave the Chargers the lead at that moment. He has nine catches for 112 yards. Can he and this Chargers offense do this? 127 to go, no timeouts, down three. Well, Keenan Allen has to show up. Let's see if they decide to move him around or let him work on the outside. First down, Herbert on the roll, throws it short. Eckler the catch, and Eckler out of bounds. Clock will stop, 120 to go. Pickup of six on the play, and it's second and four. Well, that's what you want in any two-minute drill. Positive first, first down play just to get the thing moving and get a little momentum here. They're going to have to be efficient on their throws over the middle and essentially 
If you're catching this ball in between the numbers, you knife up field and get down. If you're outside the numbers, you fight to get to the sideline with your momentum going forward to stop the clock. And a fumbled snap. The Chargers recover with Eckler go, pouncing go. on it. Clock continuing to run. Oh, just a low snap. Third and eight and incomplete, and there's the flag. Keyshawn Nixon defending against Keenan Allen. He had a hold. And we welcome those of you who were watching Dallas and Carolina here, a three-point game, 58 seconds to go in the fourth, and the Chargers are about to get a first down with a pass interference penalty against the Packers on third and eight. Pass interference, defense number 36. Ball he placed the spot of the foul, automatic, first down. Well, watch these two tangled up inside. Keenan Allen's going to stem him outside to get him going vertically, break down his leverage, and then you see the left hand all over the jersey. And the yellow gloves don't help right there. They really stick out. Welcome those of you who are watching Chicago and Detroit. Justin Herbert on first down, on the run, throws incomplete. And that'll stop the clock with 51 seconds to go. Jordan Love today over 320 yards passing for Green Bay. His first career 300-yard game. Justin Herbert trying to get his Chargers back up the field into field goal range. Cameron Dicker's long this year is 55. His college long was 57. You got to get to, what, the 37-ish? Right here to tie this thing, send it to overtime with no timeouts. And what wind there is is at the back of the Chargers right now. Light wind, probably not a big factor. Second down and 10. Herbert throws, and it is caught by Allen. Inbounds, go, clock go. continues to run. They have no timeouts. Oh, did you see? <laughs> Nixon was holding on to him after the play, so he couldn't go get set. Third down. Herbert. Looking. There's the pump. Johnston can't pull it in. It hit him in the hands at the 35 of Green Bay. Carrington Valentine on the coverage. But Johnston, Johnston couldn't snatch it. Well, Valentine's been all over him, sitting right around the sticks or in that 15-yard area. And finally, Johnston just runs by him just fails to track that football and I mean everything Justin Herbert went through to get that ball off to get up in the pocket get everybody set and make a play like that you gotta help your QB and it comes down to this fourth down and six and a timeout used Charge. by Green Bay Charge timeout, Green Bay. they just wanted to confirm the formation uh, as you see Quentin Johnson He's beside himself. And really, they drafted him, almost, think about it, as more of like a luxury guy, another big body for a room that was full of talent with Mike Williams and Palmer and, of course, Keenan Allen. And this guy's got to play a significant part of the season because of injuries to those two aforementioned players. But those are the moments, you know, that, that swing your confidence and really get you going and... Speaking of momentum and Jordan Love, he sure came on strong towards the end. Fourth down. Six for the first. Chargers down three. No timeouts. 23 seconds to go. And movement up front. And it's going to be offsides against the Packers. Rashawn yeah, Aaron. Offside. Number 52. Unabated to the quarterback. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. So now fourth and one instead of fourth and six. But... There's Gary at the bottom. A oh, little bit early. Might have got Preston Smith, too. So now fourth and one. Four-man rush. Herbert batted oh. down. Deflected away. Packers are going to win it. Kenny Clark with the rejection. 
and Green Bay is going to hang on to a 23-20 win. What a play by Kenny Clark. Watch him get his right hand up. And bat that ball down. I mean, if he was going to Stone Smart, he was covered up pretty good. And Justin Herbert looks on in disbelief as Jordan Love and the Packers take the final knee. You're fucking and the seventh straight loss by three points for the Chargers. Three points or less and a 23-20 Green Bay win. And those are the kind of situations.